Hey everyone, welcome back to Just James Games. We're going to do Torgo mode on hard. So, this is Torgo mode. Torgo, it's getting dark. I'm scared. Please find the Valley Lodge. So, doesn't have cutscenes because they're all kind of backwards. <laughs> um, but it's kind of interesting how he did it. Um, the sound effects for Torgo are completely hilarious. <laughs> uh, he is also very slidey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, every time he takes a step, uh, as soon as he like stops moving for a second, he just kind of has a little bit more into each step, which for the beginning levels is perfectly fine. Um, for later levels, when you have like one block to stand on, uh, it's really hard to get the sliding done right. But we have our first hand of fate. I love the sound effects for Torgo. <laughs> uh, um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same game again. Um, not much change except for Mike. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. You cannot stay here. The master would not approve. <laughs> so. <laughs> very well. The master will be very disturbed. Bam. <laughs> there is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. Don't know which one's saying that. Sorry. I would say it's Torgo, but Torgo always has the little wiggly words, so it can't be Torgo. But it's, it's kind of funny, it's like an alternate universe where, you know, Torgo actually makes Mike's wife his. And then they come here to visit. <laughs> I don't know, it's a really cool concept. It's a a little bit harder way to play the game, um, but for the most part it's pretty much the exact same game. Uh, the main difficulty is the slidiness. So, um, got lots of support from the creator of this game uh, when I posted the first episode on YouTube. He gave me a like and a retweet. Uh, which actually got a lot of traffic going towards the first episode of Manos. So I am very thankful to him for that. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not way ahead on videos right now. This video is actually going up this afternoon, so it feels like I'm an actual YouTuber. <laughs> not sitting on episodes for a little bit, uh, but it's what I get. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. Uh, with my channel, I know there's a ton of games that I want to play, but it's a matter of, you know, finding the right ones. And, uh, I knew I wanted to play this one, and uh, eventually I want to play, um, uh, you know, some of the other ones that, uh, Freak Zone Games have created. Uh, and I will, but I got this, and... I don't know what's next. I guess we'll see. <laughs> so, um, pretty much this is identical to the previous version. Uh, there is no more or less difficulty outside of Torgo's um, lovely ability to not move so well. <laughs> Although he moves very fast. In this, a lot faster than he does in the movie. Uh, in the movie, it looks like he has like two small pillows in his like knee area. Um, yeah, it's very strange. Actually, it looks like he has two hands in his legs, but you know, that's not really. <laughs> it's what it looks like, but it's not actually the case. Um, and he just kind of waddles around and just looks hilarious. <laughs> just because the movie is just so bad. It was horrible and still kind of enjoyable to watch the movie again completely. Um, mostly because... 
Um, after playing this yet again, um, it it's fun because originally I played through this game well lightly and really sucked at it uh, before I was even gonna do YouTube, and then I was like, okay, let's try to get some context on this. Uh, so I watched the movie and I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I watched the movie and then I played this again, uh, this time trying to do it on YouTube. And uh, that one didn't work out so well. The screen was way too small. Um, so uh, it's been several months since I did that. So I decided to watch it again before I did commentary for this. So I have, uh, because I'm doing the commentary afterwards. Uh, it was it's interesting because I just played the game and I watched the movie before I did the commentary, so... It's fun! <laughs> uh, it's a horrible movie. But the game is absolutely a, a treat. Uh, right. And I wonder... You know, I, I know these bosses and enemies are from other things, and I apologize for not knowing exactly what they're all from. But, you know, I guessed in the first playthrough of this that this was a Metroid-type boss, but could be mistaken. Hell, it could be, like, a Hudson Adventure Island <laughs> boss, for all I know. NES had lots of weird enemies, um, especially in their... Movie adaptations. <laughs> what a horrible night to have a missing wife and daughter. It's the same text as before. I guess Torgo doesn't have shaky text. <laughs> when you're playing as Torgo. How sad. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Areas like this. You, uh, with Torgo, he slides. He has just like a couple extra steps in him every time, so I'm like, okay, don't just walk right off the other edge. Man. But. <laughs> Lovely. Um, there will be a death montage at the end of this. Um, it will be wonderful. <laughs> Uh, it's usually what I've done on my channel for harder games, is there's always a little death montage at the end. Uh, makes it so I can focus on just playing the game, um, not worry about doing the voice at the same time, which, you know, has its pluses and minuses, but um, this way uh, it's not, you know, 40 minutes each with, you know, hundreds of deaths in it. It's just, you know, I was when I was originally going to come up with this channel, um, you know, I had great advice to begin with, and I was to make a channel for what I like to watch, because um, there will be other people out there that like the same thing as you, uh, and this way you can actually enjoy what it is you're doing. And I like to watch shorter videos, and I dislike it when the whole episode is... Uh, not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, but eventually I will be playing games that are just heavy death-centric, like indie games. You know, like Super Meat Boy, if I ever decide to torture myself by playing that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be putting in most of the deaths in there. I mean, not all, but most of them. Um, but, you know, the levels are short. Um, they're like anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute. So, yeah, you die a lot, but it doesn't take that long to actually get through a level. But I also don't want 10 minutes of just one level, and that's actually what it will be. I mean, it's taken me... <clears throat> when I first played through Super Meat Boy, I haven't actually gotten through the whole thing. But there's some stages that took me, you know, 45 minutes to an hour just to do one stage. If not even longer than that. So, yeah, I, that's one of the reasons why I haven't decided to do one of those on my channel yet. Because um, I don't know really how I want to do that. Um, but there are other death, uh, immense death games out there. And, uh, you know, like Ink 
when I did ink on my channel. Uh, I just kept the whole thing, and uh, you know, it did reasonably well. But I also did the voice at the same time, <laughs> which uh, it's difficult to annex a little piece of my brain to do somewhat worthwhile commentary while struggling. Oh, Peppy, who would do such a thing? <laughs> while struggling to play a rather difficult game. Um, well, yeah. I love, love his sound effects. Uh, let's fight this Doberman. It's, you know, piece of cake, right? Man, he is kicking my ass. <laughs> there we go!